CPR. What is CPR? Can anybody tell me what CPR stands for? C stands for cardio. P, pulmonary. R, resuscitation. I feel like I'm doing a cheer. Okay, you do not want to attempt CPR on a conscious animal. Should I be looking into the camera or look around at everybody? Look at, okay, you, you don't want to attempt it on a, on a conscious animal. Why? Because you're going to get bit, okay? So you, you want to, you perform CPR when an animal is unconscious and they are not, their heart's not beating, okay? So how can you tell if an animal's unconscious and they're not breathing? You can look to see that the rib cage rises. You can take a mirror and hold it in front of their nose and that you'll get condensation on the mirror, all right? Um, now to see if their heart's beating, the heart is more to the left side of the chest cavity. You want the animal to be lying on their right side. You take the animal's elbow and you bend it back like this, okay? And where the point that it back, bends back to on the chest is right where the heart is. So you can place your hand over there, see if you can he feel the heartbeat. A good place to find a pulse is on the inside of the thigh on a dog or a cat. Go home and try it tonight on your animal so you get practice doing that, okay? If you don't feel a pulse, you don't see the animal is breathing, that is when you want to attempt CPR. Now, one thing is, if you're trying to breathe into the trachea and there's a ball or rock that's obstructing it, are you going to be able to get air into the lungs? You're not. So Oprah Winfrey's dog died because it choked on a ball and nobody like opened up the mouth to see. All right, so the first thing you want to do before you do that, open the mouth. You could pick the dog up by their tongue. It's a very strong muscle. Open it up. If you see vomit, whatever, you got to just scoop it out, okay? If you see something in there, try and grab it and pull it out if you can. You know, um, it's, you know, if you push it back farther, I can show you the Heimlich technique, but people are so like shy about that. Open it up, see if there's something obstructing the airway, pull it out. You have the trachea, which goes to the lungs, and you're not gonna save your animal if there's something in there. So before I do that, I'll just show you the Heimlich. If there is something in there, you can do Heimlich on a dog like you can a human. You put your hands like this, and you go upward thrusting like this. One, two, very firm like that. And a lot of times it's just gonna pop out. You can tip them upside down. Oh, come on, come on. All right? You know, you're trying to save your animal's life. Um, with a smaller animal, you can um, do what, what we use, like in a baby, you use the butt of your um, hand and you go like this in between the shoulder blades. You're trying to dislodge that. It works, I've done it. Once you've dislodged that, you know you have an open airway, then you go ahead and you do rescue breathing with chest massages. There, it's roughly about, if the animal's under 90 pounds, it would be five chest compressions to one breath. Five chest compressions to five to one, five to one. Over 90, 10 to one. They've simplified it. It used to be very complicated. You should be doing this in the back seat of the car as you're going to the vet hospital. Um, because once we get them, we can give them drugs. And you know, if that's feasible, if not, attempt it where you're at. So in, when you breathe into the animals, what if I just, grew, just went ahead and exhaled in this dog's mouth like you do with the human? Where's the air gonna go? It's gonna come right out the nose, guys. So the key is you have to close the mouth and you want to exhale into the nose, okay? And when you do that, you want to watch the chest rise. Am I going to exhale into the lungs the same amount in my big guy here as I am the cat? Do you know I can actually burst this cat's lungs? Yes, you can. So you have to be careful. Watch the chest rise as you're exhaling. See? If I go and you could hurt the animal. So just common sense, right? Five breaths to, uh, five compressions to one breath. So now you know how to do the breathing. 
close the mouth, exhale into the nose. In a small animal, you can just put your whole mouth over their nose and their mouth, okay? Now, for the chest compressions, it's very similar to humans, all right? I told you, you bend the elbow back. Uh, you want your pet on what side? Right, right. right side down, because the heart's to the left. All right, and you take your hands like that, like with the humans, and you go down like this, okay? And you're compressing. Remember, you're going over the rib cage, all right? So you do this, two, three, four, five, and then exhale. Okay, one.